The constitutional framers, the Federalist Papers, nobody thought that states would be admitted on the basis of their politics. Rather, they would be admitted on the basic premise of their citizenship as Americans. And to consider other non-germane items in casting your vote is un-American. It is clear to me um, from the attention uh, that Americans have paid to the district is something that we know already, that they don't really know, in a lot of cases, that we're different than they are. They assume they're United States citizens. They know we have a congresswoman. Uh, so they don't even think about the fact that we don't have voting senators or a congresswoman doesn't have the vote. And it certainly never occurred to them uh, that the president could move the army to address a local policing matter. It's also been very important for us to explain that you're still going to have a nation's capital um, when we become the 51st state. There will be a federal enclave um, that the Congress will continue to exercise jurisdiction over. It will encompass all of the major uh, federal buildings and functions of the federal government, the National Mall, the museums, uh, and memorials. But it won't have 700,000 people in it that don't have a vote. Partial citizenship is not an option. We can't deal away the, the rights uh, of an American simply because they live in the District of Columbia. Uh, the option is to recognize 706,000 people as full and equal citizens of the United States of America with voting rights in the Capitol uh, in their parliament.